Fortnite Chapter 7 is finally here, but with every new season comes new updates, new shaders, and unfortunately, new stutters, FPS drops, and input delay issues. So today, I'm going to walk you through a complete optimization guide that fixes all leftover files from previous seasons. After applying all these tweaks, my FPS got doubled and game feels so much smooth. Follow everything step by step, especially if you're new to optimizing your PC. I'll guide you through each click. Before touching any settings, you need to remove leftover config files from older seasons. These can cause crashing, stuttering, and extremely inconsistent FPS. Press Windows plus R, type percent local app data percent. Press enter and open the Fortnite game folder. Go into saved, config, Windows client. Delete game user settings.ini. This forces Fortnite to regenerate a clean, fresh settings file. Now go into local folder again and find NVIDIA or NVIDIA Corporation folder. Delete everything inside those two folders. This clears outdated shaders from last season, which is one of the biggest causes of new season lag. Now launch Fortnite and open the settings tab. I'll walk you through everything that actually matters for FPS and input delay. Start at the display section. Use full screen or windowed full screen. Full screen gives the lowest input delay. Windowed full screen gives slightly higher average FPS. Both are competitive, just avoid regular windowed mode. Set resolution to your monitor's native resolution. Never lower this. We'll adjust 3D resolution later if needed. Turn VSync off to reduce input delay. Set frame rate limit to either your monitor's refresh rate or whatever your PC can consistently hold. Capping stabilizes frame times better than unlimited. If your GPU isn't maxing out at 100%, you can experiment with unlimited for slightly less latency. Next is rendering mode. The new performance mode is the recommended option for Chapter 7. It uses CPU resources far better in crowded endgames than legacy performance mode on DX11. If you're on AMD, DX12 also performs extremely well. Lower end GPUs may still prefer legacy, but most players should stay on the new performance mode. Scroll down to graphics. None of these impact FPS, they only affect visibility. If you're not colorblind, leave them at default. If you are, definitely try the colorblind modes. Now the important part, graphics quality. 3D resolution is the setting that affects FPS the most. Lower this only if your GPU is the bottleneck. Don't touch it if your GPU usage is low during a game. Dynamic 3D resolution adjusts your resolution automatically during the match. I don't recommend it because the changing clarity feels inconsistent. Set view distance to epic. It barely affects performance but helps you spot loot earlier. Textures do not affect FPS unless you run out of VRAM. I keep them low for performance and visibility. Set meshes to low. Low meshes give way better visibility during build fights and even show break animations slightly faster. This is why most competitive players use them. Now scroll to advanced graphics. Turn on show FPS. Leave latency markers off unless you specifically want NVIDIA latency stats. Your in-game settings are now fully optimized for performance, consistency, and competitive advantage. Now we're going to boost how Windows prioritizes your GPU during gaming. Press Windows plus R. Type regedit. Navigate to this path and you can copy it from video description. Find Network Throttling Index and set it to 8 times F. This disables Windows aggressive throttling behavior during online games. Then go into Next Path in regedit and again you will find it in video description so copy it from there. Now change these values here. Set GPU priority to 8, priority to 6, and scheduling category to high. This forces Windows to allocate more resources to games and helps reduce input delay. Restart your PC to apply these changes. Next, we're going deeper than the regular NVIDIA control panel by using NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Download NVIDIA Profile Inspector, link in your video description. Open it and select the Fortnite profile. Click Import Profile and choose the optimized file. 
This custom profile adjusts advanced driver level settings like low latency behavior, render queue size, texture filtering precision, LOD bias, frame pacing. You don't have to manually tweak anything, just import the profile and apply. This dramatically improves frame stability and reduces delay, especially during building and edits. Now let's move on to the Windows optimizations. First, we are going to disable core isolation for lower input delay and better CPU scheduling. To start, you'll want to disable core isolation because it can restrict your CPU's ability to fully utilize its cores, which often leads to micro stutters and higher input latency in Fortnite. Begin by pressing the Windows key, type Windows Security, and open it. On the left side, select Device Security, and then click Core Isolation Details. Inside this page, you'll see a toggle for Memory Integrity. Switch this option off. Windows may ask you to restart your PC. Make sure you do it. Once disabled, your CPU is free from virtualization-based restrictions, allowing smoother frame times, which is extremely helpful in fast-paced games like Fortnite. Next, you'll improve overall GPU responsiveness by enabling hardware-accelerated GPU scheduling. This feature offloads GPU scheduling tasks directly to the graphics card instead of the CPU, reducing latency and helping stabilize FPS. Press Windows plus I to open Settings, go to System, then Display, and scroll down to find Graphics. Click Change Default Graphics Settings and turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. If the option requires a restart, go ahead and do that. After enabling it, games like Fortnite can take advantage of faster frame rendering, resulting in reduced stutters and quicker frame delivery. Finally, you want your PC running at maximum power when gaming. Open the Start menu, type Control Panel, and open it. Go to Power Options and choose High Performance. If you only see Balanced, click Show Additional Plans. After selecting the plan, click Change Plan Settings next to High Performance, then Change Advanced Power Settings. In this menu, expand Processor Power Management and set the minimum processor state to 100% and the maximum to 100% as well. This ensures your CPU never downclocks during gameplay. Scroll down to PCI Express, expand Link State Power Management and set it to Off to prevent GPU throttling. These adjustments ensure every component runs at full capacity, giving you more stable FPS and faster reaction times in Fortnite. After following all these steps, cleaning old shaders, applying competitive in-game settings, adjusting GPU priority in RegEdit, importing the optimized NVIDIA profile, and fixing your Windows settings, you should see dramatic improvements in Fortnite Chapter 7 performance. So make sure to let me know your thoughts and feedback after applying these settings. Peace out.